best. And I know you're doing uh, some great work down there in FLA. So, uh, um, you know, turn it blue as much as you can. Uh, yeah, I'll try my best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right. Uh, let's go from uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to the great uh, city of Seattle, WA, where we find our Renaissance man. He is, of course, uh, the fantastic uh, Mark Taylor Canfield, Executive Director of Democracy Watch News. Uh, happy Friday, MTC. How are you, my man? <laughs> All right. Uh, you are on hey. fire, my friend. As was your Kraken last night, by the way. Congratulations. Go ahead. Live long and prosper, Jeff. Uh, no, we, All right, we uh, host the, the outdoor classic hockey uh, classic in 2024 because the NHL realizes that Seattle's all in when it comes to ho hockey, so we're good to Very go here. Good. You guys played last night like you're all in. You know, it's a playoff team, man. Uh, that is big, big news. Hey, I know there's a lot of stuff we got to get to in about three or four minutes. So, uh, what is your uh, top uh, list on the MTC report on the Jeff Santo show? Well, we have uh, I-135, which is a social housing initiative, which is going to be on the special ballot next month in Seattle, and it will be publicly owned housing, permanently affordable, mm, love so it. the developers can come in and wipe it out. Uh, yeah, they, there's been some major surveys done in Washington state, and they found that the top two concerns for this state are high rents and homelessness. So Governor Jay Inslee and our state legislature are making that the top priority, thank God this year and in the city of Se city of Seattle, we have a chance to once again uh, set a standard of innovation and create the social housing project, which could be a great model for the rest of the country. And by the way, Jeff, it's being done in places like Victoria, British Columbia and Canada, also in Scotland and in Vienna. In fact, some of the folks here went to Vienna to check out that housing project there to see how it's run. And the tenants actually are a part of the management of the properties, so that's great. Labor unions are also involved. They've been very supportive of that here Perfect. in Seattle. It'll all be all labor uh, union workers that build this these projects. And I think it's gonna set a standard for the rest of the country because as I've always said, without economic security, and I'm sure you know Harvey and Alan would agree with You've me. You've been saying that for a long time on this show, man. There's <laughs> without no it, you're, yeah, there's no other security, exactly. Exactly. There are two Even great Larry Corb, the former Reagan Deputy Defense Secretary, say if you can't take care of what's at home, you're never going to take care of what's outside. So there you go. Two main threats to security in the United States right now are the far right fanatics and also homelessness and poverty. The in economic inequality is ruining standards of living for so many people in this country. We've got to stop that. We've got to get back to where we were under FDR. People That's for sure. Value. MTC, we will talk to you next week in a much longer period, my man. Uh, we look forward to that uh, next Friday. You have yourself a great weekend. Uh, go Seahawks. And uh, we will uh, oh, yeah, talk deal. to you. Go deal. Go deal. Sorry, Harvey. I'm sorry that the Packers lost, but I'm actually kind of happy that the Seahawks are in the playoffs. Yeah, they're oh. in the playoffs. I want to thank uh, Josh and Freddie for producing this broadcast. Thanks to MTC, too, and all of our great guests, Harvey and John Shelton. Keep on fighting, folks. Have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday, MLK Day, with Vinsky and Erlingerman and so forth. My name is Jeff Santos right now. I wish you a happy weekend. I gotta go.